So now I'm on my way to the new Jewish cemetery uh, where Franz Kafka was uh, buried. Um, and I'm gonna take some pictures of his grave. A few dozen actually. Franz Kafka is well known for books like The Trial and The Metamorphosis. His style was so unique that even a new word was introduced to the English lexicon. Kafkaesque. Kafkaesque, not the chillest vibe. So the new Jewish cemetery was established in 1891 and it's almost 10 times as big as the old Jewish cemetery, which you will find in Prague, more central, um, where they actually stack graves on top of each other. It's pretty cool. If you haven't seen it, absolutely something you might want to do. Um, I think this cemetery is much more beautiful, calm, spacious, big. You get the picture. Let's go. Okay, seems like we have a little bit of a problem. The sun is coming up and it will make this a whole lot harder. I won't make a big deal out of uh, the graveyard itself, but it's pretty well kept and it looks really good. But don't be, uh, be fooled, this place is a maze. For you guys who don't know me, I'm a filmmaker from Norway. Um, I started this YouTube channel to help myself find a style uh, that wasn't that formal uh, and also to enhance my skill. I know that you can learn so much if you constantly make uh, videos. So Google, where is Franz Kafka's grave? Give me the exact location of Kafka's grave. It's loading. Oh wow, coordinates. My map says it's through here. All right. So now I'm back where I started. What I've gathered from um, what's important when doing photogeometry is getting every angle and as many pictures the better and apparently if I do get one out of focus it will take a long time to render it so uh, precision is key okay I can feel it's close it has to be here somewhere I need to take a picture of this from every angle so let's go. Kafka's grave has been scanned and now I'm on my way home to send the photos over to my friend Stefan and let's see if we can make a 3D model out of it. Photogrammetry is a cool technology, especially when it's paired with virtual reality. There are already VR museums that people all around the world come and join to see and experience a virtual tour from an expert tour guide. And the guide even answers your questions. If you guys are curious about the 3D model and want to take a closer look, I'll link a description down below. It's not optimized for VR, but still pretty cool. Hope you liked this video and see you in the next one.